Okay, people, so uh, here we are. Look at that. I figured out how to turn this camera around and show my ugly mug on this face, or I mean on this camera. What we're doing here is a guy just stopped by my shop. Um, he says he's got a 49 Ford two-door sedan um, that he wants to get it out of his yard, and uh, he just wants rid of it. And he said it was a friend of his that apparently has gotten cancer now really bad. And the guy was working on it for the last couple of years. He used to build cars and take them out to the race tracks and all that. And he apparently has put a uh, different frame under it. He's put a full cage under this car, like roll cage inside it. He's got a GM tilt column in it. The body's rough. He's chopped the roof. He's it doesn't. It's a horrible chop, in my opinion. He's welded up the hood and welded all the fenders together. He's made a tilt front end. It's not a rolling frame by no means whatsoever. Um, it's not even a finished car. The wheel tubs are cut out. Like it's in it's in really rough shape but it sure is good fucking yard art. So I looked at it and my buddy Davey Boy went with me and uh, I kept saying to the guy, well, what do you want, what do you want? And the guy was like, throw me a number, throw me a number. And what does Dave do? Dave says 50 bucks and the guy says, done, it's yours. So we are on the road right now. We're gonna go pick this car up and uh, here we'll give you a visual of what's going on. We'll turn this around, here we go. There, there we are so you can you can see our beautiful roads out here in Chilliwack, BC for all you guys that, yeah, yes, it's pissing down rain. Of course, you know, the guy would show up on a day when it's pissing down rain. Now, I could probably leave it and go get it another day, but with my luck, the bloody guy would probably, uh, would end up getting, getting rid of it to somebody else and I wouldn't get it. So the whole plan for this car is I think it's going to be yard art. I know I said it's got the whole cage in there and all that, but the car needs a lot of work and it's, it's more yard art for me than it is everything. So we're going to film up until we get to the car here. Then what we're going to do from there is we're going to stop and I'll film when we get back home undercover because I don't want to take this fancy new camera out in the rain. That's the last thing I want to do. So anyway, we will uh, go down here. We'll go real slow down the road. It should be coming up on the right hand side here. There's his truck. I see his truck way up there. If you can see this, I'm sorry for zooming in bad. Here we go, we're gonna see this girl in a minute. And there she is. I don't know if you can make it out. There's what she looks like. We'll be right back with you, folks. Okay, so here we are, people. We made her back to the shop. It's pissing down rain. And here is our little 49 Chevy two-door sedan that we got off the guy. Now, as you can see, somebody has Frenched in some taillights here in the, in the, in the day. And they molded in all this. Look at these quarters, how they're all cut up. Look at this roof, what they were doing here. Get a kick out of that, eh? He was making it into something. But you know what the biggest kicker is of this whole car? Is the guy that was doing this apparently got cancer and he had to stop, but he was a race car guy. He was into like funny cars and racing cars. Look at this, he's got the stock frame. Look at this cage work he's done in here. I don't know if you can see this very well. He's welded some sort of clip up on here for something, like a clip for like, you know, a newer front suspension, obviously. But I mean, look at all the cage work. Let's look inside here. The doors are laying in there. It's got the old racing seats in there. Look at the cage all up inside. Goes all up above the window here. Let's go around the front here, you get a kick. He's molded everything in. Like, look at, there's the front of it, what she'd look like from the front half. Oh, sorry, I zoomed in the wrong way. There she is right there. And there we go there. And uh, yeah, it's, gonna, it's, it's quite the, it's quite the, Quite the thing to look at this car. Here we go here. You can see the firewall he's done. He's got the GM tilt column in there. He's got the cage running all across here. You can see how he's, he's raised up the, uh, the floor right there. And sort of, you know, he's, um, he's, he's uh, lowered the body over top of it. He's channeled her over top. We'll get up inside here. Here is all up inside the trunk area. We'll get up top here. Let's see if we can do this without falling on our ass on this slippery day. Oh, here we go. I mean, you can sort of see the frame right across there. Ties right into the back. He's got his leaf spring, leaf spring hangers right there. So, uh, you know, look at that right through the front. Get a good kick out of that, people. Oh, so there it is. That's our latest little thing here at Old Time Garage. $50. Thanks to old Davey Boy offering him $50 and he said yeah. So what is the plan with this car? I'll tell you what the plan is. The plan is we're going to drag it in the shop here as soon as the weather clears up. We're going to scuff her down real quick. We're just going to shoot some trim clad flat black on her. We're going to bolt the doors on it and I'm going to put it out in my field 
because for $50, how can I go wrong for $50 to put it out in the field and use it as lawn art? Because I don't feel bad with a car sitting in the field that I got $50 into as lawn art. It's cool, it's good advertising, it'll look awesome. And if you haven't already seen, we'll take a little walk over here right now and I'll show you. Hopefully these new cameras are waterproof because if they're not, I'm gonna get in some serious trouble from the beautiful young lady that bought me this camera and she will be yelling at me, but it's not raining that hard. If you look right here, I picked up this Ford pickup. It's actually a Mercury, believe it or not. Someone has chopped it way, way back in the early 70s. And what I did was I put it out in my field. I filled the box in with a false floor and put some dirt in there. So in the summertime, it grows wildflowers out of the back. And in the front between the fenders, I put a willow tree. So it's kind of a cool looking for lawn art. And if you look way down the other end of my field, there is my little 39 Chevy two-door sedan. It's not on a frame, it's just a body, and that is my other lawn art. So um, yeah, we got quite a big open field up here. It's a good half acre, and the plan is, is that Old Time Garage is gonna be hosting a automotive swap meet and a car show once a year out here in Chilliwack. But the automotive swap meet will be open for everything, everyone, I should say, but the, um, the uh, car show is just going to be special invite people like my customers and stuff like that. So anyway, I better get out of this rain. I better get inside and get some work done. Um, I'm glad I can. I'm glad I had this camera. I love this camera. It's awesome, even though I'm having a hell of a time working with it. <laughs> I'm loving it, and uh, that's it. Because if I never had this camera, you guys would have never seen this car. You know, going to pick it up and all that kind of cool shit. So there you go, and uh, that's it. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back here. Here's our $50 piece of lawn art. You can see Davy Boy there, he's spraying it. We're spraying right over the rust. We're not sanding it. There's no point. It's going in the yard. And spraying over the bird shit too. There we go. Yeah, bird shit. Yeah. Yeah, that was a seagull I think took a good one there. Yeah. Paint seems to stick to that pretty good. So what we're using here is we're using a trim clad, satin black. And uh, there we go. Look at Dave go. I mean, holy, let's see, let's see Winfield paint like that. That's top of the line. You think you can get some scallops in there and some fading? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We like, fa we like fade away paint jobs here. They were painting right over the Bondo, the rust. That's, that's the way it's supposed to be done. He's got the technique. Look at that. Man. This guy's a painter. <laughs> we got our French tail lights with only one lens. Looking good, looking good. We got all the shit out of the way. We got we got Jean's little 41 Ford over here sitting here on the cart. We moved it aside so we wouldn't get any overspray on it. I got my beautiful, my beautiful 52 Chevy here. I got the differential all fixed back in it. It's all rebuilt, ready to go. Oh, Dave needs a ladder now. He's got to climb up there. See? I'll let Dave paint it because I won't, I won't go up more than two steps on the ladder because I'm afraid of heights. I don't like heights, Dave. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, hey, um, this video you're watching, if you're paying close attention, not all my other videos are perfect order. If you're paying close attention to this video, you will see I showed you this car. I picked it up in the fall. Then you're seeing us kind of painting it and shit like that. Uh, that's that's in the early spring. And now I've got it out in the yard here. And here we are. We are in June. We're like the third week of June. It's summertime here. And I just wanted you to see the end result of it sitting out in the field as my lawn art. So here we go. Okay, I want you guys to know that some videos, well, this is the only video that's been patched over several times. And hopefully we did a good job. But here we go. Check this out. Good lawn art or what? Okay guys, so there it is. There's the little Chevy. Now as you can see, what I've done is I've propped the door open. We're leaving the door open and we've got my logo on there. So when people drive by, there it is. They can see the logo, they can see the number. That was done by my lovely gal. Doesn't she does, she does beautiful work, don't she? You ever come down here in BC and you need sign lettering work or pinstriping, I'm telling you, look me up because she does it. Anyway, there we are. I shoved some wheels underneath it, some old tires I had laying around the house there. You can take a quick glimpse of that. I shoved some, uh, I shoved some old chromies that were on there, just laying around, letting the grass grow up around it all. 
So it's all looking good. So there we go, we've got another piece of lawn art sitting out here. Uh, as you can see, the grass is already growing around it, so you can see this video has been patched over. I have no reason to hide stuff from you. We Obviously the car was parked here way back in the day, we're assuming, when people drive by because there was a cherry can, it ran out of gas. And unfortunately the poor bastard went to pour gas in it and he realized there was no gas tank either. <laughs> anyway, there we go. So what else we got going on here? Well this is my field here. And this is just over a half an acre. And this is where I host, or will be hosting, my old time garage once a year annual parties. Now back in this corner, we'll take a quick look. This is an old 48, it was a Merc, but someone's put Ford parts on it. 48 Mercury pickup that somebody tried to chop way back in the day. And they did it with an old, um, did it with an old arc welder. So it's quite a mess. But what I did was I pieced it together out here and I put a, uh, I put a weeping willow tree in there, or spiral willow tree I should say, inside the front there. In the back I filled the box up halfway with dirt and I planted a whole bunch of wildflowers so I don't have to look after the bloody things. They just come up every year. All I got to do is at the end of the year I just get in there with the weed whacker. I mow down all the dead shit and uh, that's it. So that's what's going on there. So you take a close look at that. We can see the, uh, we can see the chop. You know it was, it was done back in the day. We'll look inside it. There's the old dashboard. You know, obviously we'll walk around here. We'll get a close-up view of the front. There we are. And what I've been doing lately too, guys, is you know, I have a lot of parts. And you know, just like you guys that are into cars, you hang on to all this stuff, you hang on to it and hang on to it. And I don't know about you, but I'm a hoarder. I sell absolutely nothing. So if anyone's out there watching these videos, it's a local guy, and you're seeing all my stuff, don't ask me if stuff's for sale because I don't sell it because I like to build custom cars and you never know when you're gonna need it. But sometimes there's stuff, see, as you can see in here, like look at the parts laying in here. Sometimes there's stuff that, here as we take a walk down the field, I'll talk to you. Sometimes there's stuff that you don't know if you should get rid of it or not. Like, you know, um, old coil springs, you know they're still good, but you put lowered ones in. And you keep all this shit in case you're gonna build a rat rod, if you're into rat rods, out there one day. And I've been thinking, God, all this stuff's piling up in my sheds, piling up in my sheds, what do I do with it? It's stuff that I think about throwing out, but I don't think I wanna throw it out. So what do I do with it? I've been throwing it in these old cars lately. I've been throwing it in there because they're good storage. I label the shit, I put it in the cars, it's out of sight, it's out of mind, it's perfect. So there you go, there's an idea for you guys out there if you've got any lawn art like that. Now you do risk the chance of maybe someone stealing out of these cars, but you know what? In the car world, if someone wants to go that far and steal stuff from us, that's, that's pretty shameful in my opinion. So here's our last lawn art. Here we go. This is a 37 Chevy two-door sedan. I picked this thing up a while back and again it's not on a frame it's just mocked up this car is actually in really good shape it's it's a uh, it's a shame a guy like me would keep a car like this out here but you know what it was the right price and uh, it's, it's a good resting area for it good resting area so get a glimpse I don't know if you can see inside there through the glass the door does open let's open it watch me get full of bees any rodents in here gonna get us look at that hey eh, guys she opened right up you know, and again, and again, you know, I've got junk stashed in this car. Just stuff I'm uncertain whether I'm going to use. Let's close it up. Watch this door here. Look at that. You'd almost think Dr. Dave was working on that door. Anyway, you can see the old, uh, here's the old back end here, your old bustle back or whatever you want to call it, or uh, favorite place for your gal. <laughs> Someone took an axe to it. Maybe he was mad that night. Anyway, we'll go around here. You see it's got the old decals on here. Calgary. Uh, McLeod, Spokane, uh, apparently it came out of an old mill, this car. And uh, like I say, so I put her out here, and uh, she's in the corner of my field, and there she is. That's it. So, with that being said, there you go guys. You got to see the Chevy, you got to see what I did with it. It's good lawn art. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, thank you guys for staying tuned. And remember, it's always a good time at old time. See you later.